I think he could be the biggest figure in Argentina. Everyone knew who was going to be the best player in the world. He's a very special player. I think that he's the best player in history. I think it's the gift that God gave to him. My dream was to be a professional footballer. In the 20th century, there was little debate. Known in his home country as Dios, God, Diego Maradona was revered by Argentinian fans as the world's greatest ever player. But as the new millennium dawned, Maradona's status as the nation's favorite sporting icon came under threat. La Albi Celeste had discovered a new number 10. Here comes Messi, into overdrive, Messi! It's out of this world from Leo Messi! One of the finest football talents ever seen, it seems fanciful to imagine there was a time when the world had never heard of Lionel Messi. Born in Rosario in June 1987, by the age of 11, Lionel Messi was on the books of local club Newell's Old Boys and was part of a youth team beaten just once in four years. His signature was coveted by both Newell's and River Plate, but there was one outstanding issue. He had been diagnosed with a growth hormone deficiency and, in order to reach his natural height at a normal rate, required treatment costing $1,000 a month. Neither club could afford it. But Jose Maria Minghella, a scout from FC Barcelona, had other ideas. I found out about Messi through the people that I've worked with in Argentina on other things, on other players, through a school called Marca. They sent me a videotape, and there you could see him already doing these amazing things. It really seemed that he had the ball sewn to his feet, pretty much what he does now. But it was even more surprising to see that in a boy of 12 or 13 years of age. In the end, Barcelona decided to go ahead with it. Messi's new seat of learning was La Masia, the famous youth academy of the Catalan giants. And alongside many other future stars, such as Valdez, Iniesta, Puyol and Xavi, it was here that Messi would learn the Barcelona way. I arrived when I was 13. I came with my family. I spent time at La Masia, but I didn't sleep there. I was with my dad and with my brother in a house. I spent time with the other kids at La Masia. I ate there and I spent the day there. And that was good to help me adapt. It made everything easier and helped me a lot. I was his first coach when he came. I just was coach under 14 back in, in the season 2000-2001. When he came on trial, just before Christmas, don't remember now, it was October, November, October, November, December, in 2000, I was coach under 14. I had already in, in this uh, generation or promotion, born in 1987, uh, Cesc Fabregas, Gerard Piqué, and many other players that are playing now in different countries at the first level. And then came Lionel Messi and uh, Everyone realized that we were uh, before uh, one great player. Former Barcelona president Joan Laporta made La Masia his priority. While Real Madrid had the Galacticos and were buying success, the Catalonians were building from within. But despite his obvious talent on the pitch, off it there was a moral question to be answered. I have to say that uh, it never was a discussion from the football point of view. The discussion came from the human point of view. Because at this moment, and it looks that I'm talking about 30 or 40 years ago, when I'm talking only about 10, 11 years ago, but it was absolutely not normal to bring an under-14 player from Argentina to Barcelona. It was decided that Lionel's father would also move to Spain. 
There was already a rumor in the club that there was a special young player at the academy. So we started to go and see him. And I remember that he scored four goals in 14 minutes during one game. So we wanted him to join us permanently. And when he was 16 years old, we signed the first non-professional contract with him. Since I met him when I was 14, he was such an unbelievable player. And the only question was that he can maintain, if he can play like he was playing when he was 14 in, in the professional level. And he's doing the same. So I think that everyone knows he's the best player in the world. When Leo used to play in the academy, we all used to go and see him play because he was so special. We were all convinced that he was such an amazing talent. But then, of course, you need to work. And he went into the first team when he was just 16. And that was a great decision by Frank Rijkaard and by Chiqui Bagheristan and also the board, which fully supported the academy at all times. The academy was fundamental for our club's model. Fortunately for Messi, there was another South American at the club, the Brazilian Ronaldinho, who'd once been named the world's best player. In Catalonia, the young Argentine, found a brother in arms. I remember watching him in the youth teams. We all did. And then he started training with us. I remember his first game. I was lucky enough to give the assist for his first ever goal. So he's a great friend. And it's lovely to see him giving so much joy to people who love football. There was a great connection between the two. Ronnie supported Leo and helped him too. Well, the whole team helped him, but Ronnie was the point of reference. But I think the whole team immediately realised that this 16-year-old kid was going to be the best player in the world. I think the first person to realise this was Ronaldinho, because Leo was already able to do great things. He had all the tricks, but his talent is not just his dribbling. It's not just his skills or his speed on the ball, but he also has goals in him. He's also a winner, and he enjoys himself playing football. Ronaldinho had that too. He always played with a smile on his face. We all saw that he had so much quality. I was lucky enough to see him when he was a kid in the youth teams and then training with him and playing alongside him. Everything he's done is what we always expected of him. It makes me very happy to see a friend shining so brightly. Dutch coach Frank Rijkaard gave Messi his league debut in 2004. Ronaldinho had been the star attraction at the Camp Nou, but Messi was making a name for himself and took on the mantle with more frequent appearances. He was one of many youngsters from La Masia beginning to make the breakthrough. Both Ronaldinho and Rijkaard played a major part in his development, and if progress was slow, Messi remained philosophical, testament to his upbringing and his own character. The Barcelona first team is very strong this year, and I think they can achieve a lot. But it's true there's lots of games as well, and there'll be some opportunities for players like me to play in the first team this season. His home environment was great, very united, and I think that's helped Barca, and it's helped Leo. Leo is a very sensible person. He's as humble today as he always was, despite being so famous. But remember, when he was a child, he played as well as he does today. He was incredible. In 2005, Messi represented Argentina at the South American Youth Championship in Colombia where his performances earned him squad selection for the FIFA World Youth Championship in Holland. Argentina won the title, with Messi scoring six times. His stock was rising. <laughs> 2006 brought a downturn in fortunes. Injuries saw him miss Barcelona's Champions League win over Arsenal. And at the World Cup in Germany, he was largely peripheral as Argentina fell at the quarter-final stage. As ever in Argentina, a young player of outstanding talent is inevitably labelled the new Maradona. And Messi was no different. This time, however, it looked as if the Argentine public 
had actually found their new messiah. A third place finish in the 2007 Ballon d'Or underlined Messi's progress. The comparisons with Maradona were growing. This was no more apparent than when Messi tore through the Hatafi defence in a Spanish Cup game to score one of the greatest goals ever seen on Spanish soil. It was eerily reminiscent of Diego Maradona's famous World Cup goal in 1986 against England. Messi could now lay claim to being the greatest of them all. He was just a young boy when I came there and I saw him sort of mature into um, a man uh, on the pitch. Um, he was just... Um, he sort of... Everyone knew he was going to be the best player in the world or everyone talked about it. Um, and for him to have been able to live up to all the, the, the hype and the talk, it's, uh, it's a great achievement and the way he does it as well, the way he, uh, he conducts himself is, uh, I think is, is an example to, to anyone. I've not seen everyone play, but of those I have seen play, of course. The ability he has to change a game is fantastic, incredible. The following season saw Messi become a first-team regular at the Camp Nou. He scored 14 goals in 26 matches, including a hat-trick against Real Madrid in El Clasico. In the summer of 2008, Messi travelled to Beijing and was a key member of the Argentina team to win Olympic gold, his first major honour. And the gold medal would be the catalyst to more spectacular success. Back in Spain, Pep Guardiola was named Barcelona's new coach. A member of the club's 1992 European Cup winning team, he progressed from managing the Barcelona B team. And a superpower of the European game was reborn. It was great. From the first day that he arrived, the four years were phenomenal, not just with me, but with the whole squad. He was always a very approachable manager. He took care of us off the pitch as well as on it, and it was great having him here. Still only 21, Messi's talent was clear, but under Guardiola, he matured as a player and began to offer much more. From the moment that Guardiola arrived at the club, we all knew we'd have to work very hard to win titles. Go past everyone, dribble, dribble, because it's what he likes and enjoys. He does that thing better than anyone. But then he goes one step further regarding the team. Messi doesn't think of winning just that game. He's thinking of winning the title too. He was not alone. Barcelona was now a team packed with internationals at the top of their game. Many of the starting 11 had graduated from La Masia and were fully integrated into the tiki-taka style of football. It was a system that delivered a League and Cup double in Spain in 2009 before a Champions League final in Rome against Manchester United, in which Messi played a starring role. It was one of those finals that, despite the first nine minutes, in which Cristiano Ronaldo came close and made Victor Valdez and Gerard Pique work very hard, the rest of the game was like a carnival for us. And this was acknowledged by the British press and by Manchester United too. We played fantastically well. Samuel Eto'o's 10th minute strike energised the Catalans. And with 20 minutes remaining, Messi himself added a second to seal victory and become the top scorer in that year's competition with nine goals. It was Barcelona's third European Cup and a second in four seasons. Messi and co had conquered all before them and the team would go down in history as the first Spanish club to win the treble. What he has made him the best player in the world is that he's got great talent and great mentality. I've never seen a player that young with that much hunger to just to train, just to, to be coached. I remember him just uh, finishing the training sessions and, and just this willingness to be the next day to, to train once again. 
Messi finished the season with 38 goals and won the Ballon d'Or for the first time. It would not be the last. I had the privilege to be with Leo before he received the FIFA World Player Award and the Ballon d'Or. I have a photograph from that night. The Ballon d'Or means a lot to me. I'm the same proud that, than everyone who has had him. No? Um, in this case, I think it's not fair to say, oh, because what I did, or, I think uh, Lionel Messi was born to play football. Era un... It was a proud moment. It's one of those experiences that you're truly grateful for. I've experienced that, and I feel privileged. And it's all thanks to Messi. It means almost everything to me. I play a game every three or four days, and I spend a lot of time thinking about the games ahead. It takes up a lot of my life. Sometimes we talk about talent in football, about great talent, but uh, what I really think is that many players have very good, very good ingredients at a very high level and they become players, but the real talent, the real talent for me is uh, Messi, is Maradona, is, uh, is this, this, this type of player. When you go to a good restaurant and eat a great meal, and what comes with it isn't good, then the meal is a disaster. Messi is the main course, and the rest of us are the finishing touches to the dish, and we help to make it even better. Messi had become one of the biggest and best paid superstars on the planet, and with fame comes adulation. But a strong family, along with the assistance of the staff from La Masia, ensured that Messi remained grounded at all times. And off the pitch, this boy next door became a husband and a father. It was very clear in his mind that uh, the future of his family was depending on his success, all right, in terms of... Uh, in order to offer them a better life. I think this was a pressure, that usually this pressure is too much pressure for a, for a young lad. But in that case, worked uh, as a positive, I think. Usually, usually it's a negative, because you put that pressure or you feel that pressure that young, uh, I think it's too much. But in, in this case, he's a fighter. He's, a, he's so focused in football. I, Sometimes I think he must be sleeping with the ball. It's the ball and him, him and the ball. It's, uh, it's all about this. It's his life. The league titles in 2010 and 2011 added weight to the claim that this Barcelona team was the finest club side ever to play the game. Dancing to their own beat, this was a blend of the Argentine tango and the Spanish flamenco. Because of how we get on, we spend a lot of time together. We spend more time together than with our families almost, and that makes us very united and makes us strong. But the Barca way and the Messi way requires more than just raw talent. We take training sessions very seriously. Our manager never has any complaints. We're very professional. That team ethic led to yet another Champions League final in 2011. Fierce rivals Real Madrid had been defeated in the semi-final with two goals from Messi, the second cementing his reputation as the world's best player. Real's very own superstar, Cristiano Ronaldo, the pretender to Messi's crown was left in tears as Barca headed to the final in London. I was in the press box at Wembley. I had Barcelona fans on this side and Manchester fans on the other. They were more on the Manchester side but there was a gap in the middle for neutral fans. And I remember how some people would say about Barcelona, wow. Barcelona's performance exemplified their philosophy. Pedro opened the scoring, but Messi was United's chief tormentor. Messi's amazing performance. Alex Ferguson played Park Ji Sung in front of him. But Messi almost dismissed him and would bypass him with his first movement. He wasted a player, he couldn't do anything. It was an extraordinary display. 
Messi's 53rd goal of the season gave Barca a 2-1 lead. Before his dazzling footwork paved the way for David Villa to seal a 3-1 win. And Barcelona's third UEFA Champions League in an astounding trophy-laden five years. It was a display that typified the club and the mesmeric brilliance of Lionel Messi. Well, I was lucky enough to be there, and I think it was the most impressive Champions League final I have ever seen. The football played at such a tempo, and at the end of the game I saw Ferguson looking for Messi to shake his hand. I saw things there that I had never seen before, and will probably never see again. The plaudits continued, and further records were set. He scored 68 goals in a single season and in 2012 surpassed the 40-year record set by German legend Gerd Müller of 85 goals in a calendar year. Messi ending with 91. It was a staggering achievement, even by Messi's own implausible standards. And the year ended with a fourth consecutive Ballon d'Or. Teammates Iniesta and Xavi were second and third. It meant Messi became the first player ever to win the world's best player award more than three times. He is just incredible. It's simple as that. It's, it's, it's not something that you say, yeah, he does this or does that. He's just, he's just incredible. Um, once he, he sets off, there's no stopping him. Basically, as a professional, you see that day after day, he's evolved in an amazing way. Only he knows what he can achieve. And that's amazing, to maintain that level of performance. And not only to maintain that level, but to improve on it year after year. It's crazy, almost unique. Because we've already said so many things about him, it's difficult to say something new or something better. Without doubt, he's number one, the best player there is today in football, and certainly one of the best in history, if not the best, for everything he's achieved, because of his age, for all of the records he keeps breaking. In every game, he's decisive. He's a very important player. He's a lad who, in spite of being a player who scores goals and has to be selfish, he still provides a load of assists. People find it hard to praise Leo in this sense, and for us, he's still number one. Messi has played all of his club football in Europe. Argentinians can only catch glimpses of their favourite son on television or when he returns home to captain the national side. And when he does, adulation and expectation follow him wherever he goes. When Lionel plays well, we improve a lot as a team. When we give him the ball, he always manages to keep our opponents under pressure. And this, of course, lifts the whole team. He's very quick, with a technique that's out of this world. I think these are the qualities that have made the whole world fall in love with him. And despite the success, the wealth and the fame, the world also recognises Lionel Messi for what lies beneath the all-time great. The shy boy from Rosario, who simply loves to play. You have to fight for what you want in life. My dream was to be a football player, to be a professional. And I always fought for that, to make my dream come true. And with sacrifice and effort, luckily, I was able to make it happen. Messi, 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 Messi,